I love helping people and will go to great extremes to do so, even when it all blows up in my face. Rumors of the first new budget iPhone since the SE is supposed to be released early next year. Next, let's see, what am I saying? I don't know. Next week, the speculation ends as Apple unveils most of what we can expect for the rest of the year. And no one ever gets tired of promoting the iPad as a full computer replacement ever tonight on the Mac to the Future. Go! Livecast. Yeah. everybody how are you tonight i who am i i am looking at my stuff and it's not coming up so i'll go like this instead there it is i am your humble host guy searle from mymac.com podcast guys daily drive and and all kinds of of other things uh david has a life so he's not joining us tonight however i do have as soon as i get this going here mr warren sklar hello sir how are you I am awesome. How are you doing? You're online. I'm on. I'm online. I can't see what this says because there's like a thing on it. Oh, it just, just says you just can't yeah. find me. Yeah. Uh, so how you yeah, doing? I, I, I love the glasses, by the way. Yeah, these are my awesome speaker microphone glasses because I couldn't find my other headphones. So. Um, <laughs> so that that's what we have instead. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. I almost bought a microphone today, but I chickened out. So there you go. Well, what, what happened? The, it was like eighty dollars, and I, you know, I'm like, what kind? What, 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 what? Hold on, what kind of mic was it? It was in Best Buy. It was, I don't know, uh, a Yeti. Yeti. Oh, don't get a Yeti. Don't do that. Then I had a sixty dollars Snowball thing. Don't get that either. All right. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get them because. Yeah, know. if you're gonna get a microphone, get the um, the AT AT twenty one ATR twenty one hundred USB. Uh, I was in Best Buy. I had credit, so I don't know. Okay, yeah, well, that I don't think you'll find those in Best Buy. No, so there you go. Probably oh. not. But I did Probably get a. Probably not. I did get some. Uh, I, I got a case for my iPad Mini. You did. Yeah. And oh, uh, yeah. comments are not coming in. At um, least not through not through the party room. So the party room doesn't have the comments, but I think the is it the other well, room. Where where did you send your test comment from? Was that from Mac the Future? No, that was from here. I'm going to go back in this one. Um, this is in your. This is under your profile. My name. Let's do another test. Do do here. do 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 do. Okay, well it seems to be working there. Hi Leslie. Yeah, How you doing? So, so uh, under your, the comments are working. But, but under not water, under. So I think what we could do is I'll go under the watch party and see the comments there because Marcus is pointing at um, Marcus is posting in there, and Leslie is posting in the uh, under your feed. So we'll we'll double team it and see how it goes. Okay. Well, I would prefer it if they would all just show up here. Well, we have like four different watch things going. You need to consolidate. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought I was doing, but yeah. oh well. Um, oh well. And it's too I can't change it now. Uh, I think yeah. because I think what I did was when I hit watch party, I, I hit it for Mac to the Future, and I should have done it from my own page. But it just seems like you know this is the Mac to the Future live cast, so it should be under that. So why I I don't get comments from there. I don't know. I think it's a it's a Facebook thing and not a guy can't figure stuff out thing. Well, I, I yeah. get to listen. I get to see uh, all of Marcus's uh, comments. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let I'll let you know when anything important comes to it. So. Okay, right. good enough. Um, <laughs> as people may or may not know, uh, last week I or last weekend I I left for Florida the Thursday right after we did the show last Wednesday night. And it was a unmitigated disaster. Not so much the trip down, that was fine. 
getting the car at the airport, flawless. Uh, helping my, my brother set up the Mac Mini, absolutely fabulous. Hurricane Dorian, not so much. Not so much. Um, it, didn't, it didn't even hit, it, it, it was not even in close to Florida. Well, yeah, but when you're talking about a hurricane that's hundreds of miles wide, it doesn't have to get that close. And what what made it worse was for the poor people in the Bahamas where it like stalled over their island for like a day and a half. I mean, it was it was it's no wonder the place was devastated and you know, good luck to everybody there, but you know, it was it was one it was such a freaky storm. I mean, originally I got there Thursday, got the car, went to my brother's house, and we started doing stuff to get the Mac Mini set up. And then, you know, we're kind of keeping an eye on what was going on with, you know, the weather channel and the hurricane and all the rest of that. And they kept talking about, oh, it's gonna hit the central part of Florida by, you know, late Sunday, early Monday. And then the storm just stopped and stayed right where it was as it built up to a Category 5. Um, by that time, by, the, by basically by the time Friday was almost over, I kind of was like, okay, you know, I'm. I, it's not that I, I don't want to spend more time in Florida, but I also didn't want to get stuck. So I started making some phone calls. I couldn't get American Airlines to cancel my ticket and refund at that point because the airports weren't closed and the flight wasn't canceled. And Easy Rent a Car, which was the company that I got the car from down there in Orlando, said, sure, you can bring that car all the way up to Raleigh, Durham in North Carolina, where we have another office for a $750 drop off fee. I said, no. So, yeah, so I, I pretty much had gotten done everything I wanted to do with Bill. Sorry? You could take an Uber from Florida to North Carolina for that. For $750. Just about. So crazy. But I um uh I, I ended up taking the the car back on Saturday to the airport and then getting uh, an Alamo rent a car that I could bring all the way back up here to the DC area. And by that point I'd pretty much finished what I needed to get done. With uh, with my brother, I, I had put in a, a one terabyte SSD in the Mac Mini and set it up for backups and got him some alternatives to the software that he was using. Uh, we found a 27-inch Acer monitor at Best mm -hmm. Buy for 130 bucks, and it was a nice monitor. So he's mm -hmm. all set up with with a relatively new Mac as compared to what he was using before, which was a 2007 iMac on Snow Leopard. So yeah. you know it was it was so old. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. yeah. Yikes. So then it took me the better part of um, two to three days to get home because I took a westerly route that I probably didn't really need to take, but I had anyway. And it's one of those things that once you start a route like that, you're, you're committed. You know, you have to see that all the way through. So that's what I did. And it probably added a, easily added a couple of hundred miles to what's already a, a pretty long trip. I think it's like 950 miles from Orlando to D.C. So, you know, throw on a couple of hundred more miles because, hey, why not? Um, but other than that, you know, I mean, I, I actually spent more time driving home than I did in Florida, but my, my plans for getting together with my nephew to do some surfing right out the window, uh, the my plans, is, what do you, the surf must've been awesome. Well, might've been, um, <laughs> Was, they had some. They've already. They had some people swept out to sea in Jacksonville <laughs> from the yeah. store. I'm laughing. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> people swept had, out to sea. We had one person in Jersey. It's, it's not. It's not a. It's not. No, it's, it's not good. Not it's anywhere on the East Coast, pretty much as bad. Yeah, you know, don't. And this is what I don't understand. Why are people so stupid? 
when it comes to weather like this, that, that oh, that's hundred miles away, hundreds of miles away. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to make plans to, to get out of the way of a killer storm like that. I'll be fine. <laughs> and then they aren't. Why, why do people jump out of airplanes? Why do people jump off buildings to bungee? I don't know. Well, yeah, but like see, it. those are those are things you do for fun, and those yeah, are things so that usually last about five seconds. Okay, a Category 5 hurricane that is hundreds of miles across, you're looking at days, days yeah. of no power, high winds, high water content, rain, your house falling apart around you. Just, you know, don't don't screw around with hurricanes. It, it, it's really nothing to, to, to even contemplate. You know, I, I grew up with the damn things, and when I knew one was coming, it was like, okay, time to go, and that's what I did. Yeah, I mean, from the East Coast here, we don't, we got a few, but nothing crazy. And, you know, I think we just want to experience it. And, but, you know, they, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like fun. Anyhow. Uh, he went to MTTF on poi, por, Porpoise. Porpoise. On per, Porpoise. Porpoise. Let's talk Mac stuff. What do you say? Please. Please. All right, we've got uh, we've got a couple of quick takes. So quick takes. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. I don't need need a theme song for that. New York subway system having problems with misplaced Apple AirPods on tracks. So apparently, people's AirPods are falling out of their ears, and then they're having somebody come and and they've actually created like these little special devices to to pick them up off the tracks. They don't actually jump down into the tracks because that would be crazy and the only thing that makes it relatively easy to find is the fact that they're white which and that's probably the only thing that's that's like light colored down there on the the floor of the new york subway system i had, uh, I had a good idea about that i i posted somewhere else on facebook but i i think um the police and the authorities should give all the found AirPods to homeless, crazy homeless people, so they could put them in their really? ear. So when they, you know, just listen to me. Don't activate okay. them or don't turn them on. They could be broken. But when they're walking down the street, cursing at themselves and screaming like, uh, like, like loudly. Yeah. That guy's not crazy. He's just talking to somebody. I feel yeah. Much now. Yeah, but don't you think the tinfoil hat would like give it away? What tinfoil hat? Maybe. Well, they, yeah. they all wear them. All talking, right. Uh, they just talk to themselves and yell at themselves. You haven't been to New York recently. That's all they do. Yeah. Well, the the few times I've been in New York, and it's it's not that much different from San Francisco with the crazy people. Uh, uh, will there be a beefed up Apple TV to make Apple Arcade easier to swallow? Um, one of the problems with Apple Arcade is the promise that it will work with Macs, iOS devices, and the Apple TV. Well, of all of those devices, the one that has the least amount of horsepower is the Apple TV. So the fact that games that they're going to put out onto this service has to work on a low-powered device like that may, means that the, the games may not be as good as we might want them to be. What do you think? I mean, I think the arcade games are going to be Kind of like iOS games as they are now. You know, there, none of this Apple Arcade is going to be anything like an Xbox game or a PlayStation game. It's going to be, it's going to be a little more involved than what an iOS game is now. And I think an Apple TV could probably handle that. Anyways, my my real opinion is is I think even now Apple has been missing a really big opportunity with the Apple TV for games because well with that crappy remote, yeah. Not even just a remote. Well take that you know aside but here you have basically a, a, a ios device on a huge tv in the living room mm -hmm. you have people with ios devices in their hands and ipads and iphones that could be used as controllers. a controller mm, possibly so, yeah but you think so you think of the the possibilities you think like you know at the very least, why didn't they like? Why isn't there like a Monopoly game right on Apple TV? You open up a well, Monopoly, but that's game, that's pretty much that's pretty much how all the 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 like quiz show games work. 
Yeah, well, some of them, not a lot of them, but that's one they should. They never expand on it. They, you could put, you know, Hasbro should have like invested a lot of money to put all its board games on the Apple TV. Everybody has a remote; they could roll with their uh, with their iPod or the iPhone. And you can see it there on the screen. But all yeah, of their how much yeah, money just, they have and and what properties yeah. they own and all the you rest of that could be on their individual devices. Right, and like Clue, like you know, everybody could see or poker, you know, like card games on your phone. Yeah. You could see your your what's only visible to you, and on a TV is a community screen. Well, so, the same thing with like sports games, you know. Um, I used to play things like baseball or football or, you know, things along those lines. But the problem is, as each person is setting up their offense and their defense, you can see what the other person is doing. Yeah, yeah. So, but if you had a controller with a screen on it and you were able to select what it was you were going to do and, and decide which man it was that, that you were going to control from there, Absolutely. then... Yeah, then, then you don't have to worry about the other person knowing what it is that you're doing. There was just so many possibilities to use the Apple TV as a community gaming but screen. But they and didn't. Then, but they didn't. And, and you know, when it first came out, especially with the, the new generation, I'm like, I was looking. I was looking for, like, you know, there, the trivia games you mentioned, like, You Don't Know Jack yeah. is one. Yeah. That's, that's a big one. And, like, on the Xbox, we were playing it, too. But that, I mean, right there and then, you could have that. You know, the questions come up on the TV and on the iPhone, you push your answers and that would be fun. And they never yeah. they just never did it. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing now, but I think I think it still has it still has that possibility. So, you know, if they could improve the graphics, then why not? I mean, I don't know if I would buy one if they came out with it. I, I didn't buy the last one either because I barely I, I don't use. One. Yeah, I, I, I never bought a 4K one. I didn't see the point since I don't have a 4K TV. Yeah. And, and even I, if I had a 4K TV, there's not really much 4K content out there. Right. And I had I have a 4K TV, but I didn't when I bought the Apple TV. So I, I got one after that. I'm like, I still didn't even get one. But even now, I was like if they came out with a beefed up Apple TV, I don't think I would buy it. I just don't use it that much. Um, you know. Well, we actually use ours all the time, especially um, I've got a second gen black QB one downstairs on the main TV that we don't really use that much, but we have a third gen uh, on the TV that's in the bedroom, which is where we end up when we're going to watch TV. That's usually where we'll we'll sit down and watch it. Oh, what and, are you doing on it? What as far as other than just watching TV, nothing. No, but what what apps? What do you when you turn on your Apple TV? What are you doing? What apps watching you doing? TV? You know, we're we're looking at Hulu, Netflix. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So now, I have two TVs now that do all that. Too. Right. So, you know. I, well, a lot of them have like built-in Roku's. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get one actually without one now. So, and, and not only that, I can airplay to both my TVs now. So I, yeah. I don't. See so unless it does something really great, I, I you know. No, you're not really missing anything. Nope. Um, oh, but mm -hmm. you might miss out on the Apple TV Plus. But let's let's not go down that rat hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots. I, if I need a new Apple TV to watch that craft, then I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of noise about iPhone hacks, but not too many details. There has been. A flurry of activity both from Apple and from uh, okay. pundits online talking about all of these new exploits for iOS. And they talk about how the exploits are there without really saying, well, how do you get infected? You know, they just say, oh, well, it's it's like a drive-by or something like that. So, well, can you give us a little more detail so that we don't do those things? Right. And you never hear anything else about it. So yeah. I don't know. So it's the same story with the, the lab. The researchers found researchers found the Macs are vulnerable to viruses and can do that. All right, show me a real world example of that happening. Click yeah, it. show show us how it happens. Yeah, yeah, just show you know, reproduce it for me. I want to see it. You know, and they never yeah. do. Strange. Okay. Uh, moving on to the main stories. The first one cheap iphone you crazy guys according to a japanese tech site apple will release a new 4.7 inch economy iphone early next year 
The rumored phone will have an LED display as compared to the current OLED and LCD displays, an A13 processor and 128 gigabytes of storage. A single lens rear camera finishes out most of the rumors concerning the phone and no rumored price has been rumored to be reported, talked about, said some people allegedly. <laughs> sounds solid. It yeah, sounds like a solid so solid. So solid. So solid. solid. Yeah. Um, well, actually, it wouldn't surprise me that um, that Apple might come out with a, a, a slightly cheaper phone. The problem, the problem is in order to do all of the things on the new version of iOS that uh, that you might want to do, it's got to be a pretty beefy phone. Otherwise, it, the experience is going to suck. And then what's the point? Because you have to run the latest OS and when you buy a new phone. You can't downgrade it. Yeah, they're thinking it might be kind of like a small 10R is what it might be. The, the well, how, the, the ten, well how, how big is the 10R now? I mean the uh, the the ten the ten XR and the XR Max are what six point two and five point five. I I forget exactly the something like that. The sizes go the ten S, then the ten R is bigger, then the ten S Max is the biggest. So that's a, the three. It's in between the ten R is in between. So maybe they'll make a mini ten R ish kind of thing that's small. And, and you know, yeah, I mean, it has differences. Obviously, the camera yeah. is different on that one. The uh, the screen is not OLED; it's LCD. Um, well, I, well, I've heard a lot of people talk about the uh, the the XR, mm-hmm. and they really like it. Oh, they yeah, say no. it's a great phone. Yeah, it's a good one. My my son has one. It's good. I mean, it's it, you know, it's a good phone if you want to save money. So, but you know, the 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 iPhone. Um, 5 SE was $400. You know, yeah. The 10 yeah but that, and that was only a 4-inch phone. Right, but the 10R is still $800. So if it's going to be something like that, they would have to probably cut the price down. I mean, I, I think it caters to... It, the 10 SE... I'm sorry, the 5 SE catered to a cheaper... Either somebody who really wanted the small size or somebody who didn't want to spend $800 yeah. on an iPhone. So, well, the the SE was basically the 6R, or sorry, the the 6S, 6S smaller in a smaller pack in the in the yeah. iPhone 5 package. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Maybe this will be a 10. A 10R in a, in a smaller package. Maybe. Okay. We'll see. Uh, uh, I I could never go back personally to a smaller phone. To be honest with you, it, it's I. I don't I, think I, it would it would bother me that much. Um, what do you have now? You have a. You have a I have a no. I have an eight plus. Yeah, it would bother you if you if you if you have a plus now and go back to a, a small one, you, you'll be like, "What is this toy? What is this? What do I do with this?" Well, it depends. It depends on how small we're talking about. If it was the size of because I mean I, I record guy's daily drive on an ipod touch which is the same size as like the five and and the se and i don't have any problems dealing with that but of course Mm -hmm. i'm not getting down into the nitty-gritty with apps and all the rest of that it's basically just turn on the turn on the recording app and and do a show so maybe it would bother me look at our eyes we got we can't see a small screen look we're going blind what's did is someone there who said that? <laughs> All right. Next up. Uh, next week, the tarps are removed. So Yay. on September 10th, I believe, is that when the uh, the announcement is for all the new stuff Tuesday, that comes September out? Yes. Yeah, next Tuesday. Yes. So six days away. Um, according to Time Magazine, there's going to be three new phones to replace the 10XS, the 10XS Max, and the 10XR. Boy, they're way to go out on a limb there, Time Magazine. Uh, a triple camera, possibly, and this is, I don't understand this, possible shared wireless power. That is, real fast, that is when you... Yeah, well, it. I know. You can, you can transfer power from one device to another device. You just put them next to each other. Yeah, I'm... Can't see how that's useful because you're you're robbing Peter. Useful. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. 
the only way it'd be useful is if it does like AirPods too, the AirPod case. That might yeah, help. Maybe. All right. Yeah. Um, no 5G on the yeah. next version of the phone, which if you live in an area that has 5G, which isn't that many at this point, uh, might be kind of a bummer. But for the most part, I don't really see that as an issue. Uh, a bigger watch with built-in sleep tracking, as you've had to use, ex you know, external apps or apps from someplace else in order to do that. Uh, a bigger MacBook Pro could be in the works, so maybe a 16-inch model, and a bigger, uh, smaller iPad to replace the 9.7-inch with a 10.2-inch model, and lastly, an object tracker similar to tile could be announced this is all the things that time magazine said now of course they didn't say anything about ios 13 or the ipad os because i think that's pretty much a a given <laughs> it's like okay here they are um do you see a, a slightly larger base ipad as as something that the the market needs because right now we've got we've got a 12.9 we have an 11 inch and we have the 9.7 inch. Now, there, I, what was the the other? Wasn't there a 10 inch iPad Pro for a while, or am I 10. thinking 5. of 10.5? 10.5. Yeah, that was the last gen. Yeah, which is awesome. and they got rid of that for the 11. Yeah, but now that one is being sold as the iPad Air 2, so it's the same, pretty much the same model. So, so how many different sizes do we have? <laughs> Including the many. We got the mini. Yeah, well, we got the mini. We got the regular. So the mini is 5.5. .5. The regular one is 7.9. 9.7. 9.7, sorry. Uh, the Air 2, which is now the 10.5. Then we got the 11. And then we yeah. got the 4.9. So we got five something. Yeah. One yeah. of these things is not like the other. Um, well, I... they, just, they just keep uh, changing the uh, size. So you have to buy new cases every year. <laughs> but Apple doesn't get a cut on the cases. Why would they care? Of course they do. They make the, they they bring out their silicon uh, covers and cases. Yeah, but not that not, many people buy that. those. Not only that, they're usually the first ones to have any kind of the case. new size. Yeah, so they do sell them uh, until the market cap. But uh, I have a I have an 11 inch iPad now. Right, and it's nice. I'm good with it. Marcus I'm still on my first gen iPad Pro, the 12.9, and yeah. love it. Marcus has a 10.5. I had the 10.5 Pro uh, and sold it, uh, and that was nice too. They're all nice. I mean, there's there's no there's no bad iPad now. Um, Not that I know of. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, I love them all. I love them all like children, man. Okay. Well, speaking of iPads, uh, we've got a bridge. Oh, I, I just wasn't ready. I am so unprofessional. Here we go. It's a bridge too far. No, that's not it. This is it right there. Bridge to a different laptop. Uh, there's a company called Bridge that makes keyboard cases that look a lot like Mac. MacBooks and MacBook Pros. They're silver or I think they have another color as well. They're nice. Uh, and it seems like every new week there are pundits proclaiming that the iPad can be that only computer that you need. And the Bridge Keyboard case would like to agree with them. Uh, at 149 for the 11 inch iPad Pro and 169 for the 12.9 inch model, these are hardly inexpensive, but they are solidly constructed. Uh, now, for me, the downsides are. It uses Bluetooth instead of Apple's smart connector, has no trackpad, and using it in portrait mode looks to be a little problematic, and they're very heavy as they weigh in over a pound. Now, I had one for my, I want to say my third gen iPad, and it was okay. You know, I mean, considering what I paid for it at the time, I mean, I was expecting, I think, a lot more than just another bluetooth keyboard case i mean it, it made it look like it was a laptop I, I had one for one of my ipads a long time ago they're expensive they're about 140 bucks to start yeah with. well but to be fair 
Yeah. That's also what Apple's smart keyboard is, well, is 149. But I mean, there's plenty of options out there too. Yeah. Um, you know, the, um, the, the things you said are right, but only Apple, I believe Apple and maybe Belkin are the only ones that use the smart connector for any of the iPads. Logitech also. So yeah, not, I've got, I've got a, I don't yeah. have it here with me. I've got a Logitech, um, I can't remember what it's called, keyboard. It's got a hard, it's a hard shell case. So it, it you know, the iPad Pro fits in there. And then it comes down to the the little smart connector. This is, and, this is my new setup. So I got this little tiny Logitech. Yeah. It's called Keys to Go. And then I got my iPad. Yeah. I'm reviewing this, actually. It's a 12 South um, thing. And it's really nice. And the, the keyboard actually fits right in the pocket like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's nice. So, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, there's keyboards all over the place. You can get them for like 10 bucks or you can get them for like $300. But yeah, only a few of them have the smart connector. Um, most of them are Bluetooth. And the bridge is a problem if you ever want to go on landscape because you have to disconnect. You got to detach the thing and then point it. Well, up. you could flip it all the way around, but it's, it's super awkward because the keys are now f facing back from you and you can easily hit them. Yeah taking a macbook and putting it on side. yeah you know I, I i i don't know if i mean i would have to see one and play with one before i would make a decision on it but based on my prior experience with bridge keyboards and, and it was a nice keyboard yes yeah, nice but the trackpad, the, the trackpad if you know the in the current state of the mouse support in the ipad yeah you know, it's not ready it's not ready uh yeah if it, now if it does get to a point where the mouse support is better that would be hot like a like a bridge keyboard with a trackpad in there that was a bluetooth mouse connecting yeah. to it as well like a server that'd be great that i would buy that I'd buy i that would too dollar. i'd buy that for a dollar i'd buy that for a dollar anybody remember what that was from i do i do too robocop yeah. robocop robocop um that is that's all we got unless you got something else there warren uh no been uh nothing talking, nothing you want to talk about been playing with some uh betas um you don't, you don't even want to talk about my hat how ugly it is this is a surfer hat this is my surfer hat i didn't get to wear it when i was down in florida uh, yeah. it keeps the sun off my bald head yeah <laughs> i take a uh, propecia for that yeah i take um i take nothing because it's yeah. too late <laughs> it's way, way, way too late. Uh, now, if I, I can just get them, if I can get the brim to stand, it becomes like a fedora. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think it works that well. Uh, is it true or rumor they're getting rid of iTunes? No, that's that's pretty much true. They're replacing yeah. iTunes with that's... music, podcasts, and movies, or is it video? TV, TV, TV. So yeah. at this point, no, iTunes, there's, there's, yeah, iTunes, iTunes as a platform is pretty much dead. But it doesn't mean anything. Starting with Catalina. <laughs> Nothing changed though, really. Yeah, What's it's it? just three different apps instead of one. Right, and you can do the the, the management of the iPad in the file, in the uh, Finder. Now there's a little Finder window that opens up. It. Now, are you running um, the beta? I am, and I put the new beta on the iOS 13.2 is what I'm Well, no, not... Oh, no, I'm not talking about iOS. I'm talking about the Catalina. Yeah, I have Catalina on there, too. It's nice. Okay. Yeah, I I haven't had the... I haven't had the guts to try that yet. <laughs> I think mostly because it's 64-bit only, and I've still got a lot of 32-bit apps. It's been rough. Yeah, the, the roughest part with the beta uh, through the whole cycle is... Um, iCloud, um, I like my photo library would never just download. My iCloud drive would just never sync. It was a mess with the iCloud. Everything Is it else, getting better? Yeah, it's 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 almost there. So today well, I, I hope so. To, they got six days. Yeah, no, I don't think they're gonna put a. I don't think Mac OS is gonna be released. Oh, you think they'll just talk about it some and say, "Okay, coming soon." That's what they yeah. did last year. I think they said last year it was like uh, 
and and uh, you'll be able to download. That's what I just said. You'll be able to download iOS 13 starting today. And Tim will then say, then you could also download uh, iPad OS, Mac OS, Catalina. Um, August, September, October 15th, I think it was last year or something like that. It was like a month later. So we'll have to wait. But um, Sidecar, you have an iPad, right? I do. Sidecar is really, really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to trying. Not so much with, I mean, because I've got two big ass screens here for the Mac. But you don't have a laptop. Uh, Not from the laptop. I don't have another screen for the laptop. So that would be quite handy. You have a laptop, though, right? You have a MacBook? Yes. Yeah. I've got a 2013 MacBook Pro, 15-inch. Yeah. It's, um, it runs it's, Catalina. It'll run Catalina. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, I, I've been playing with it. You just prop up your uh, iPad right next to it. You plug it in with the, the lightning cable. Run Sidecar. It's flawless. There's lag, no lag. I've tried some of those other apps that do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I tried them, too, and they were. it was not Pretty not good. a great experience this was this is really a good experience it really i mean it worked. okay well as long as you know as, as long as the majority of the apps that i like to use every day and i'm not talking about the ones that are you know the backgammon you know the, the little games that you play when you got nothing else to do i don't give a crap about those if i lose those i lose those yeah. but things like acorn and hindenburg and you know, uh, Mimo Live and and stuff like that. That's all got to work on day one, or it's it's just not going to happen. So know, this wanna... this will probably be the first Mac OS that I will wait for point one or point two for before I before I go ahead and put it on a machine. Are you on Mojave now? Yeah. You could if you want. I don't know how big your hard drive is, but you could run two separate installs so you could put catalina on one partition i could yeah but i don't um, really see the point yeah no, no i mean and, and catalina does something really weird too with the um with the hard drives um it's, well it's still using afps or apfs it uses apfs but it creates but it's a different version isn't it it's like it's been tweaked again i'm not sure about the version but it creates the one volume you have that your mac install is on separate yeah. two inst- two volumes of apfs and one is like the what they call us yep I, i'd show you a picture if i could show it on here but um it it, it basically it partitions it and your data is on one partition and your your os files are on the other one almost like a, almost creates like a quasi boot drive of one but it looks like one drive through Finder, but if you go to Disk Utility, it's broken up into two separate. Oh, that's weird. It's weird. And so they I, must, is it like and, dynamic partitioning as they do it? And it like Carbon Copy Cloner doesn't work with it, and the other ones don't work yet either. So I tried to, clone, I tried to clone the drive. It doesn't work. So I've been clone, what I've been doing is cloning Mojave, and then just updating to the beta when I do it. But you, I, there's no way as of now to clone uh, um, Catalina. That. Yeah, that that again makes it a no um, a no go for me. I like my backups. Yes, Marcus, Starcar is a great product. Yes, it's good. It's um, Marcus is talking about. He, so he corrected me, by the way. Uh, uh, the iPad sizes are 7.9, and I said 5.5. 5.5, of course, would be the plus iPhone, but he doesn't uh, like mini. my hat. Uh, I made fun of your hat when the show started. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, All right. Well, I think. Um, do you have anything else, Warren? No, it's a uh, big Big Brother's on tonight. Eviction night. So. Okay. Well, when we're gonna. We're going to call it a night. Uh, Warren, how can, if people wanted to get a hold of you, assuming that they did, how would they do it? Well, they can't. They, they can. I'm, I'm deactivating all accounts except for one, and you have to find it. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, look, the, the big thing, there's my wife's dresses, look, the, the big screen and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been forced into the uh, the the bedroom. So, yep, there you go. <laughs> My wife stresses up there. For- All right. And, and wait, wait, don't tell anybody. But 
is that's hers i hope no it's mine okay well <laughs> for, your, for the man boobs <laughs> all right all right if you would if you'd like to get a hold of me you can get a hold of me through an email, guy at mymac.com. I'm on the Twitters, Mac Parrot or Vert Shark. Uh, besides this podcast, I also do the My Mac podcast. You can find it at mymac.com and in the iTunes or in the podcast app when that comes out. Uh, you can also find me both online and over there. Uh, I'm sorry, on YouTube and my own website, Vert Shark. With Guy's Daily Drive and, and audio and, and video versions of this show as well. Uh, if you'd like to help me create more content, you can become a patron. Patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can do a one time donation over at coffee.com, K O F I.com, coffee.com forward slash Mac Parrot. And the brand new way, if you'd like to send me some money through PayPal, paypal.me forward slash mac parrot and uh besides ourselves david ginsburg he's on twitter dave 65 uh, he has two podcasts in touch with ios and off the charts horse racing you can find both of those over there in the itunes and uh i think that i think that's gonna that's gonna about wrap it up tonight warren i'm gonna drop out when we uh finish up so I okay. Do, but yeah. No, uh oh, it. hey Laura, how you doing, sweetie? Yep, I can be found under the garden. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, oh, he's talking about you. What? Yeah, yeah. She's saying, "Nice dresser, that wife of yours." Yeah, Leslie's right. My wife. If my <laughs> wife ever saw me play with her bra on national, national well, Facebook TV. Facebook, yeah, Facebook. <laughs> It's not real. This just it's Facebook. It's not so it's not real. Laura, I hope you're hunkering down with uh I I guess I didn't really hit the, the South Florida area that, that badly. But stay safe everybody with um with all the bad stuff going on out there with, with Hurricane Dorian. Uh it's really, really nothing to mess around with. So if you are in the cone of influence of that hurricane don't screw around. You know, do the things that they tell you to do because it, <laughs> you can. It can kill you quite easily. I, I so love don't die. Don't die. The confidence of these forecasters. The cone of uncertainty. Yeah. The spaghetti models. Well, they, they kept talking about how, oh, it's going to hit Central Florida. No, it's going to hit South Florida. No, it's going to do. And finally, it's like, the hurricane was basically going. You know what? I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do and screw you all. It's gonna the the next the next computer model is the realm of possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> the, the cone of mayhem. The cone of mayhem. All right, everybody. Well, thank you all so very very much for joining us this evening. And if you're if you're consuming this show afterwards, thanks for watching it on YouTube. <laughs> Hundred dollars a week, Warren, and she'll keep her mouth shut. That's yeah. what Leslie says. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. So All thanks right. again, everyone. Say good night, Warren. Say good night, guy. Good night, guys. <laughs> good, good, night. Good, night. good night, guy. We'll see you all next week. Bye.